Hey, hey what's, what's up, kings, kings and queens? queens? It's Theo. And it's a dang, Theo. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Some things don't change. You see, when I press the uh, button, it went. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, because you was like, ah. Jab, jab. But okay, so you guys, we're back for some discussion videos. I'm like overly excited, Theo. Yeah, it's like catch up videos for real. What What do you want to talk about first, bro? Man, we might well start off with the R. Kelly. We were supposed to talk about that like right before we left. I know. Oh my gosh. So we watched the first interview and then um, parts of the second one, right, with his uh, sort of like my girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Well, like, wait, wait. It, it ain't no. Well, we'll get into that later, but ain't nothing, ain't no problem with that. I don't see the problem. It, okay. I don't see the problem. So I I left my notes in Atlanta, but um. Damn, for, really? Yeah, but okay. So for the R. Kelly thing, it was so many different incidents where I was like, Bruh is really just fucking himself over." It when and uh, Gail stayed calm the entire time because R. Kelly was acting a motherfucking fool. So, uh, do you want to start off real quick, and then I'll kind of tag team off of because you got like a lot of notes going on. Oh man, and it's, and it's everywhere. Um, well, starting off with the R. Kelly interview, obviously Gail, uh, what last night, King? Yes. Ooh, I can't believe I had um remember that. Well, it's Oprah's best friend, so it's Gail. It, I almost said Gail Kim, but Gail King interviewed her. Uh, interviewed him, yes. and um, uh, I before going into these uh notes. I feel like R. Kelly was lying like a motherfucker. Hell yeah. Like, bro was shaking his head the whole time. Like, I'm mad they came out with the body language uh, video and everything. I didn't even watch that one. But you can tell from, like, the signals and the body language if you ever watched the TED Talks right. video or anything. Right. Um, like, that he was lying, the shaking of the head, the shrugging of the shoulder, doing all this. Like, yeah, uh, standing up. Like, you know, it was, just, it was a lot going on. Like, body language shows so much in an individual, especially when certain questions are asked. And you could really tell, like, he was uncomfortable with answering different questions that she was asked. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, that he was lying about a lot of things that she asked him about. Do y'all believe that the women in the documentary was lying? Because R. Kelly said the women in the documentary was lying. He said all of them were lying. All of them now. I ain't gonna lie. I had questions uh, about a few. I don't even remember because I didn't watch it like that. I but think it was you like had a- questions about, like, that older, the older woman. Yeah. Was- um, but okay, go ahead. I'll let you finish what you were gonna say. I would just—that's my question. Like, oh. all right, let me go to the next. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I'll answer. I, I was think, just trying to have a little discussion. My bad. Okay. Well, I was about to say, like, I think that the majority of the women were telling the truth in the documentary. I'm sorry, it's too many stories. Excuse me, that are similar to each other. For something like just to not add up. And he was like, well, you know, uh, when you're famous, somebody could just, you know, spread a rumor and it just go crazy because it's you know, social media, social media. But I'm like, nah, bruh, this shit ain't adding up. Like, it's I too- mean, this was before social media, too, man. Right, like, right. It's real. too many women saying this, like, so many similar things. And then it's like, bruh, like, you, like, they had a video of you before, but you just, you, like, it didn't. They didn't catch you that yeah, time. Yeah. So it's like you got you got lazy. You felt like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, you know, I did that before. They didn't get me. So I'm, I'm just going to keep doing what the fuck I'm doing. And, like, with the documentary, it showed so much. Like, y'all watched when we talked about it before. Like I said, I got sick to my stomach. I still stand by that because of some of the things that the women said have been done to them. And then... Um, I saw a clip where one of the girl's mother, I think her name was, I think the daughter's name was Dominique. She said that, like, he supposedly, like, hit her with extension cords and different things like that. He was abusive towards her. And she was, like, how, like, her daughter will never be the same. She'll be better from it because she's going through counseling. Oh, yeah, well, I do remember her uh, her saying that. Right, but it's just, like, it's, like, instances like that and... Um, you know, a lot of people said that the reason why people didn't believe what R. Kelly was saying was because a lot of the, well, probably all the women were black. And damn, yeah, you and think he, that's the reason. I mean, I think that does have a part to do mm-hmm. with it because you know, like, well, they just didn't care. Yeah, that's the that's yeah. the reason. Like, they, was, they really didn't care. Yeah, but it's like we'll, we'll touch base on that another time. But um, I was just saying, like, um, on one other thing, uh, R. Kelly was upset. That he said that uh, all the women in the documentary had described basically Lucifer. And he was talking about how he de- how they described him as the devil and everything like well, that. The shoe fits. And he seemed like <laughs> so upset about it. He was like, right. I'm not Lucifer. I'm not the devil. <laughs> and then he was like, 
nobody in the documentary had anything nice to say about me. That nobody said anything nice at all. Like, bro, his feelings were just really hurt. He's like, oh my gosh, you guys just talk so bad about me. And I just don't understand the reason why you would ever say anything like that. Because I'm Robert Kelly. I made, I believe I can fly. And I'm, you know, I touch Stepping your the name hearts. of love. Yeah, and then <laughs> when she asked him, when she was like, so are you an older man that likes younger women. He was like, I'm an older man that likes uh, legal women. I like legal women. <laughs> well, like, well, what's wrong with that, though? No, no. When we watched it, we watched it, I was like, oh, hell no. I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> still. I was like, you know, things like, what, what, what? I mean, you know, like, you know. I mean, I can get, I get that it can sound creepy and everything. It's and a just, lot of people don't agree with um his uh, views and everything. But if it's legal... He can be with him. But it just it just sounded so bad that the fact that that's like that's his mind frame. Like I don't know. He's like, I like legal women. So it's like the fuck like that's a lot of that's a lot of men's I, mind frame. I'm not though. saying that it isn't. It's just like <laughs> he said that and then there was an interview back in the day where he had with that guy that had the afro when he had said something similar to that and it kinda just seemed like to me it just looked bad. I didn't even see that interview. Um you probably saw it like a long time ago. I I don't know, but like R. Kelly, I feel like he shouldn't even did that interview if he was supposedly like innocent. Like um, we were listening to a podcast today, and it was like a real lawyer would never have had him do some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I completely agree. I wouldn't have had him come on the show and talking about he, you know. Uh, we trying to crucify him, and he's he's fighting for his life, and he was like acting erratic and everything. Like that's Talking not about fighting to see his kids and everything. Right, like bro, that. you ain't even been paying your motherfucking child support. Bro, forget that. Bro, I know. I you know I gotta bring it up. I had forgot. I know you watched Power, R. Kelly. You have not been closed off that long. You have not seen Power. The man said in Power, "Don't you act up. Don't act erratic." Because the most scary thing it is. Is a uh, what a uh, uh, damn a passionate black man or something mm. like that, mm. something like that. a mad black man. It, and it, and um after the uh, interview, the people that was talking to um yeah. Gail, she no no Gail first said that Oprah and like her sister or something asked her if uh she was scared that he was gonna hit her and everything. And then that's the same thing that the uh, women around the um whatever show that was going to know like, that. Uh, CPS in the morning or something yeah. like that. Yeah, they basically said the same thing. She said that she never felt like he was going to hit That's her. That's what I was thinking. Like, I never thought that he was going to hit her from him standing up. Exactly. Like, but, but we are very, like, what's the word? We're very intimidating to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And us just being, like, passionate. I ain't saying what he said was passionate. No. Right. Only thing he was passionate about was trying to get his ass out, like getting, having himself being free. Yeah. Now, that's why he was so passionate. But us being uh, passionate and everything, it seems like more intimidating, more like, I don't know, like something you can't control and you're like just afraid of. Mm-hmm. But you got to watch Power. You, you would have learned that one, R. Kelly. You want you. You would have learned that. Look how crazy I look. Look how crazy I look like that. Man, look come very on. erratic, Theo. Goodness. <laughs> man, shoot. You gotta learn. That's what I'm saying. And mm, then, an emotional black man. Yeah, an emotional black man. And then from that, like after the interview, he um he had to go to court to, for like you know to pay on the child support or to talk about the child support. And he, I heard that he was trying to pay sixty thousand out of one hundred and sixty thousand. And the judge said no. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Shit. Well, shit, he should have been paying. Damn. Shit. Talking about he want to see his kids. You ain't even paying child support for your kids. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have no sympathy for a man that don't pay child support. And don't even see his kids anyway. Right. Like, at least do one of them. Yeah, like, at least we, try to see we, your kids. Not just, like, through the legal system. At least, you know, like, if you really want to see your kids, you would be there yeah. and then, like, have the people call the police on you for being there trying mm. to see them. Exactly. Like, exactly. You know. And then somebody bailed him out, though. Somebody paid that child support money. Like, I don't know who it was. Probably was the same woman that had paid uh, for him to get released beforehand. Well, that's good. I want uh, somebody got their money. The kid could get the diapers. The, uh, they, the old diapers. Grown, right? The kids could get um, some new jeans, some uh, old Jabos back in the 90s. Oh Remember when we talked about those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fubu, okay, 05. Wait. Okay, come on real quick. I want to talk about the girlfriends. Well, his sort of kind of girlfriends. Asriel and Jocelyn. So, they had an interview with Gail, too. 
And Asriel, that's that's the you know the little feisty one, the one that had on the black mm-hmm. homegirl. They had prepped her well, re- well for the most part, because mm-hmm. you know she got real passionate too. Yeah, but Jocelyn, trash. Jocelyn was not prepared. Bruh. She was nervous. That's just how like how she was. Um, I told you about that mm. TMZ thing, Theo. When um, like a few years ago, TMZ had had, had like had an interview with her. Yeah, and you could see somebody in the background. It was like. And she's like, I know, I'm I'm fine or something like that. <laughs> and then I had saw on Instagram where Jocelyn had called her parents, like from um like the, her parents were at a law office and she called and you know, at first, uh when she was on the phone with him, she's like, I just wanna let you guys know I'm perfectly fine, I'm happy, da 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 you know, she was sticking yeah. to the script and then her little sister came on and she's like, Hey Jocelyn mm. and she was like like, you know, it was like a pause. She's like, hey, I love you. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you can tell, like, that struck a nerve. Like, she stopped wanting to talk to the little sister. And she's, like, trying to focus on just strictly talking to her parents. Because yeah. I feel like hearing her sister's like, hey, we miss you. Why haven't you called? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you know. That that's, got to her for real. Right. And then with now with them, when they talked to Gail, um, with first thing Gail asked, she was like, "What are what's y'all's relationship with him?" And the, uh, they was like, "As we was like, oh, yeah, we're oh, in a relationship." <laughs> oh, girl, we're having it, man. She seemed like a middle school hood girl yeah, in, like, in a in playground a fight, man. And Joss was like, "Yeah, you know, we're in a relationship." And she was like, well, J- "Gail was like, I mean, like, what type of relationship are y'all in? Like, are y'all like, is y'all like sexual all together?" Oh, and she's like, over. "And she's like, that's none of your business. Like, I don't, I don't talk about my personal life. That's none of your business, ain't it? yeah." <laughs> And I was kind of like, <laughs> That's basically like, what was I going mean, on. And you know, like, okay, I can respect that part because I get that. Like, you know, you don't want to be asked you. Like, that's just a smart. That's just a smart, uh, smart move to pull. Yeah, that's, that's very that's, smart. Room that's move. what it is. Yeah, but I was like, hey, girl, you, you real defensive right now. You know what I'm saying? And like, exactly, because like, that it, shows. Yeah, she was like overly defensive. I think so. What's her um, arms crossed? Yeah, the majority mm-hmm. of the time. You know, that's, yeah. And then she talked about how she never ever had an interest in singing and how her parents forced her to sing. And you was telling me that she was the good singer. Yeah, they, they it's been it's clips on the internet of her singing. Her voice is really beautiful. Mm-hmm. While with uh, R. Kelly had talked about Jocelyn and he said how her parents had said that she could sing and he was oh, like yeah. how she couldn't sing but you know she could do other things. Yeah. <laughs> He, was he like, had a little twinkle in his eye. Right, he was like, yeah. you know, when I uh, when I caught her on to the stage, I it's not like I, you know I'm not I couldn't tell that she could sing, but I thought I could tell she was beautiful. You know, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Wait, wait, wait. How old was she then, though? I don't know about for Jocelyn. I know for Asriel, she was like 17 or something. I'm gonna say if it, if she was 18, you know, do still do that, you right. know, of course. And then. um... Asriel talked about how that sorry I saw, I saw Chico's little tail, but uh, Asriel, he's trying to open that bag of treats. I know. Asriel was talking about how um, her parents had had her taking like suggestive pictures and videos with R. Kelly, yeah, trying to, to pimp later, her out and stuff. Yeah, to later have like so yeah, so they could pimp her out and like and say that uh, R. Kelly was like elfing her and all this different right. stuff underage and they didn't know or and they found this. So blah, they blah, could, blah, blah. Um, yeah, and it, do y'all believe that? Now with her parents, now you remember when we watched the documentary. Her parents are my motherfucking nerds, bro. I don't trust. I'm gonna let y'all know. Like, okay, I believe like the girls and everything. But not the girls. I mean, I believe like the R. Kelly, you know, was doing everything to the girls and everything. But I just don't like and believe the parents. Like just because, like those parents were real scared. All the kid, all the parents on here that let their uh, kids go to R. Kelly, man, they bad kids. They yeah. bad parents. But the they bad parents. <laughs> like, my, terrible. But my thing, I can't even. Why the hell would you even be bringing your child to an R. Kelly concert? Like even when I was little, I knew R. Kelly was pissing on girls. Hell like, yeah. So I know they knew. Like and they talking about uh, you know she can go there by herself and stuff. I think they claimed that they they said they she couldn't or something. Yeah, but. they said that she always had to be with either like her brother or sister or something along those lines. And then like in the documentary, her sister talked about like one thing that happened before, and then once she turned eighteen, they said that they just like she switched phone numbers. They never heard from her like until mm. recently now. And I'm kind of like I mean, y'all. 
like I'm sorry, there's no way in hell I, I don't give a fuck how famous somebody is or you know how great people consider him. R. Kelly is the last motherfucker I would ever leave my child around. I don't like I, and the fact that they said that they thought she was gonna be like his prodigy or whatever, and then she's like, Well, I told them I never went to sing, I never had any passion to sing, I almost <laughs> went to kill myself and not that all that. It's like two completely different stories. Yeah, and it's just like I don't know, the parents Y'all just, y'all need to do better. Like, don't let this happen to your other kids if you have other kids. I know Jocelyn's parents have other kids, and I don't really remember her story like that when it comes to her parents. But one thing I did remember in the R. Kelly interview with Gail, when he was like, you know, um, their parents didn't have a problem until I stopped sending money to them. So it was like, basically, he admitted, like, okay, well, they, they kind of, like, pimped their daughters out to him or sold their daughters to him. And they didn't have an issue with yeah. it until after they start stop receiving money. Mm. And I now that I kind of do believe because mm-hmm. like R. Kelly really did it's look stupid. like he was like lying. And, yeah, and and would tell on himself right. just like, like that just did. to get over on a different question. Yeah, <laughs> so I was kind of like this, that shit probably is true. But like, what do you have any other notes, Theo? Oh, I was just um we never brought up like I think I forgot what Gail was asking him um. I guess uh, they was oh I guess it was when like after the whole blow up like when he was going like crazy you know he crazy said he was and all fighting stuff. for his life yeah and how um you know I think she asked him about him doing the stuff and he just divi- diverted everything talking about like trying to talk about the different girls that's um really getting chained up and um mm-hmm. around the world and everything I like I believe him about that. Now, yes, we do need to have a discussion about that. Not just a discussion. We need to take action about different girls becoming slaves and then being sex trafficking and all that stuff around the world. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't change the fact that you're diverting the, uh, diverting the whole situation. And you, we know for a fact that you've been pissing on kids. Hell yeah, you've been pissing on kids. Like, just kind of brainwashing uh, females and shit like that. Like, it's been just too Singing much. and pissing. It's just fucking disgusting. Singing and pissing, bruh. Uh, well, was it anything else I put up well, from okay. that last interview? Is there anything else? Uh, it was just some like, mm, oh, just him talking about um, him talking about he, his um character being assassinated and all this stuff. Oh, um, they trying to bury him alive, okay. but he's alive. Okay, that's what he said. Well, that was just different t- uh, quotes. What I want to know from you guys is, do you think? That, like, for one, R. Kelly's actually gonna get charged for this stuff and like be convicted and everything like that. Do you? Oh, oh, or if that does happen, what's gonna happen to his sort of kind of girlfriends? Are they gonna go back to their parents? Now that's what I've been thinking about the whole time. Like, cause I don't think they're gonna have cash. I don't think so either. So, like, mm. sips tea. Because I'm, I'm real curious. Like, you know, they, they call their parents liars, especially Asriel. She was talking about her parents are liars. And he's a, a pathological liar and da da da. I'm curious what's going to happen to them. Because, you know, they've been riding with R. Kelly or whatever. So, like, what? They going to keep visiting him? Will they visit him when he goes to prison? Or what? Like, I, it's just so many different scenarios. Or and then can, all these legal um, fees, bro. I know that's running on R. Kelly's pockets, bro. Like, he don't so, got no money. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so what's really going to happen with them? Yeah. It, like, or, I mean, I know it's love, y'all. All the family and everything. But somebody right, got to get a job. One of y'all family. better start singing. Y'all better get a YouTube and start singing. We'll react to your videos. I'm telling you. Hey, what you talking about? You know people gonna watch that. Oh my god, they can sing. Oh, but y'all stayed in the house. Oh my god, but you know. Or do you guys <laughs> think that R. Kelly is innocent? And are we just completely wrong with this whole video? And if so, tell us the reason why. I'm very curious for everybody that does think R. Kelly is innocent. I want to know the reason why you think he is innocent. Do you think he is fighting for his life and we just trying to tarnish his character and everything like that and we're completely in the wrong? Some people are. But I'm just waiting on these other documentaries as well, man. Because we getting our black men. Now, I ain't gonna lie. They deserve to be in there. The ones that are... Um, that's in the, you know, the Bill Cosby's, the R. Kelly, even though I don't like the on timing with the Bill Cosby, but he, if he been doing this, like, um, you know, like they say he's been done, he did, then he need to be locked up, but, um, uh, like, uh, other people say, I want to see Elvis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elvis, 
That like they say Elvis fucking thirteen year olds. Uh, Elvis like married a fucking thirteen year old. Woody Allen. <laughs> so what the fuck? Woody Allen. Like I want. We still got to get the Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Cause y'all did some Michael Jackson shit. And I don't even know why. Like. Um, Let's talk, y'all, we're going to go ahead and end it. We got other videos we got to film for you guys. While Theo bring it up different people. Boy. So, go ahead, and, <laughs> go ahead and click on the next video. That way you can hear what we're talking about. See y'all. Peace.